question one find one by four of one by four three by five four by three and one by seven of two by nine six by five and three by ten so we have done this type of question of means multiplication so we will write all of them here now simplifying 1 over 16 this is 3 over 5 fours are 20 and this is 4 4 cancel cutting opportunity 3 so this was your first part now here 1 by 7 of 2 by 9 6 by 5 3 by 10 so again writing it down you know it very well how it is done now 2 into 9 7 is 63 now here 6 from the 6, 7 5 is 35, nothing can be cancelled. Again 3 over 70. So these all are proper fractions. So this was the question number first. Second, multiply and reduce to lowest form if possible. So first of all we have to multiply them and then convert them into lowest form if the question is possible. So let's see. Number first is 2 by 3 into 2 and 2 by 3, 2 by 3 into as it is, now 8 over 3. Now 8 is a 16 over 3, 3 is a 9. Now it is improper, we got to change it into proper. So 9 minus a 9, remainder is 7 because 16 minus 9 is 7 over 9. That was your first part. Here you can see cutting opportunity, 7, 7 cancel. So it is proper fraction 2 over 9. Now here, cutting opportunity, 3 to the 6, 4 to the 8, 3 3 is a 9, and 4 4 is a 16, it is proper. So proper is where numerator is smaller than denominator. Again, 27 and 25. This is improper because numerator is greater. So 25 ones are 2 remainder and 25. That was your fourth, fifth part. Now again, cutting opportunities, 1 3 is a 3, 5 3 is a 15. So 5 over 8, it is proper because numerator is smaller than denominator. Now, 33 into 20, it is improper. Numerator is greater. So we got to change it into proper. 21 is a 20, 13 is remainder. So this is your sixth. Now last, 12 fours are 48, 4 to the 8, 4 ones are 4. In this way, you can also do 7 fives are 35. Now it is improper. 35 ones are 35 and 13 is remainder. When you subtract it from 48 so 1 and 13 over 35 that was the question number second third for the fractions given below number first multiply and reduce the product to lowest form if possible so first of all we have to multiply now tell whether the fraction obtained is proper or improper so now you know what is proper and improper it will be easy to you to find the solution then last if the fraction obtained is improper, convert it into mixed fraction. So here we go. 2 over 5 as it is and mixed to simple fraction 21 over 4 cutting opportunity. You can cancel it. Now 21 over 10. It is improper because numerator is greater than denominator. So we got to convert it into proper. So 2 and 1 over 10. 10 to the 20. 1 is remainder over 10. So this is how you'll do rest of the questions. Now Converting it into simple fraction, 30 plus 2 is 32 over 5, 7 by 9 as it is. Now multiplication, 7 to the 14, and 1 is carry, 7 3 is 21 plus 1 is 22. And in denominator, it is simple, 45. It is again improper because numerator is greater than denominator. 45 fours are 176, and now it is converted into mixed fraction. Now third, 3 by 2 as it is, 5 3 is a 15 and 1 is 16 over 3, cutting opportunity, 1 2 is a 2, 8 is a 16, 3 goes away. Now 8 1 is a 8 over 3. So this is a whole number, a complete number, not a fraction at all. That was your third. Fourth, 5 over 6 into 7 2 is a 14 plus 3, 17 over 7. Now multiplication, 7 5 is a 35, 5 and 5 plus 3 is 8. So 85 over 42, 7 6 is a 42, again improper. Now 42, 2 is a 
84, one is remainder. Now fifth, five threes of 15 plus two is 17 over five, four by seven as it is. Now multiplication, 17 fours are 68, seven fours are 28, two, four plus two is six. Seven fives are 35, again improper because numerator is greater than denominator. 35 ones are 35, remainder is 33. So this makes your next fraction. Sixth part, 5 to the 10 plus 3 is 13 over 5 into 3 as it is. Now 13 threes are 39 over 5, it is improper. So 5 sevens are 35 and 4 is remainder over 5. It is your mixed fraction. The last part, 7 threes are 21 plus 4 is 25 over 7 into 3 over 5. 1 5 is a 5, 5 5 is a 25, cutting opportunity. 5 is a 15 over 7. Improper. So converting it into mixed fraction gives you 2 and 1 over 7. So that was your question number third. Fourth, which is greater? Now we have to compare in each question that which amongst them is greater. So off means multiplication. The whole concept is to make you understand that off in mathematics means multiplication. So here we go. So 2 over 7 into 3 over 4 and writing 3 over 5 into 5 over 8. Just place multiplication sign when you see off. So now we will solve it. 1 to the 2, 2 to the 4. So 3 over 14. 5, 5 cancels straight away. So 3 over 8. But we cannot compare it because it is unlike. We have to make the denominators like. So we can take LCM. So 2 7s are 14, 2 to the 4. Now 4, 7 as it is. 4 1s are 4. Now 7, 1, 1. So when you multiply it, 4 to the 8, 8 7s are 56. Now we can take the common denominator as 56. So 14 halves are 56. So 14 fours are. So 4 threes are 12. Therefore 12 came. Now 8 sevens are 56. So 7 threes are 21. So you know how to find it. You have learned in previous classes. Now you can easily compare because denominator is same. So 21 is greater. What does it mean? It means so 3 by 5 of 5 by 8 is greater than 2 by 7 of 3 over 4. So in similar fashion, we will do second part. Here, what we have 1 over 2 into 6 over 7 and 2 over 3 into 3 over 7. Cutting a partiality, 1 to the 2, 3 to the 6. Here, 3, 3 cancels straight away. So 3 over 7 and 2 over 7. Here, denominators are same. No need to take any LCM. You can see 3 is greater than 2. If the first part, 1 over 2 of 6 over 7 was greater than 2 over 3 of 3 over 7. So this was your fourth question. Sally plants four saplings in a row in a garden the distance between two adjacent saplings is 3 over 4 meter find the distance between the first and the last sapling so what is a sapling it is a small tree distance between two adjacent saplings is given 3 over 4 meter and distance between the first and the last sapling is given so this is your celly and the sapling is a small plant which you can grow so in this fashion she placed them two saplings at two saplings at a distance of 3 over 4 meter so what does it mean it means you have total three gaps one two and three so we multiply it with three this is one this is second this is third do not confuse it with four because whenever there are four there will be gap of three so this you have to visualize and this picture makes it possible to visualize therefore we multiply it with three not four remember it is always one minus and some questions like gap come. So 3, 3 is a 9 over 4. It is improper. Make it proper. 4 to the 8. 1 is remainder. So what does it mean? The distance between first and the last sapling is 2 and 1 over 4 meter. Sixth, Lipika reads a book for 1 and 3 over 4 hours every day. She reads the entire book in 6 days. So it takes her 6 days. How many hours in all were required by her to read the books? It is very simple. In one day, she reads 1 and 3 over 4 in 6 days, we have to simply multiply it. So we are writing it down, number of hours, Lipika reads a book, convert it, it is 7 over 4 hours, and total days she takes is 6 days. So how many hours? It is simple. Multiply with 7 by 4 into 6. Now cutting opportunity, we can see here 2 to the 4 and 3 to the 6. So 7 3 is a 21 over 2. When you multiply it, it gives you 21 over 2 hours. 
So converting it into mixed fraction, that is two tens are 20, one is remainder. It will take her in total 10 and half hours. Seventh, a car runs 16 kilometer using one liter of petrol. How much distance will it cover using two and three by four liters of petrol? So imagine this is a car. When it fills with one liter, it can run to 16 kilometer. But the question says, how much long it will cover when the tank of the car will be filled for two and three over four liters? So you can visualize it in this manner. So we got to convert two and three by four into simple fraction. So four to the eight plus three is 11. Therefore, 11 over four. Now it is simple, a matter to multiply it with 16. It is a unitary method, you know it. One four is a four, four four is a 16. So a whole number came, no fraction. It is 44 kilometer. So it will go 44 kilometer. Eighth, A, provide the number in the box. So this is the box. Here it is the box, two over three into box. So what will come in box in order to get 10 over three? Then the simplest form of the number obtained in that box. First, you have to find the value of box and then you have to convert it into simplest form. Similarly, second three by five into box gives you 24 over 75 and then again convert it into simplest form if possible. If it is already, then you need not to convert it. So two over three, what should be multiplied in order to get 10 from two? It should be five, two five is a 10 and three to 30 is 10. And you multiply three with 10, you, you get 30, simple. Now five by 10 is not in simplest form. Cutting opportunity, one five is a five, two five is a 10. Therefore the simplest form is one over two in that box. Similarly, we will do for B part. Now, what should be multiplied with 3 to get 24? It is simple. 8, because 3 is a 24. No other number can give you 24. Here, 5, 15 is a 75. Again, no other number, then 15 will give you 75. Now, it is in simplest form. You can see it, no cutting opportunity. Therefore, it is a simplest form. So, this was the last question. Question number 8.